Hi everybody, Bob McGoy here at Computer Aided Technologies. Just had a support call I wanted to share with all of you here on YouTube. Um, hopefully you'll like it. Um, customer called in and asked, how do I calculate the cost of my part based upon the volume or the mass properties of the part? So the first thing here, we want to make sure under document properties that the units are set the way that we want. So if you're doing, say, a metric part, say, with pounds, cost per pound, we'll switch that so you've got cost per pound. The next thing that we'll do is we want to make sure that the equation folder is, is actually in our feature manager tree. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get rid of my equation I just did a moment ago and I'm going to make this so inside of SOLIDWORKS under tools options, system options, under feature manager you're going to go to equations and make sure that's not set to automatic. We want it to be set to show. By setting it to show, even if we don't have any equations, we'll be able to see the equations folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to equation manager and say we're going to manage the equations. And I'm going to type in, let's go GV for global variable, and I'm going to type in cost with a capital C here. And I'm going to say that that equals a file property being the mass property or volume depending on what I want and I'm going to hit my asterisk key and I'm going to multiply that by my cost per pound and I'm going to say that's let's say two dollars and seventy five cents per pound so right now based upon my current size I'm going to get twenty two dollars and thirty six cents roughly I'll go ahead and hit OK there and if I want that to show up in my drawing I need to add some custom properties so I'm going to come up to File Properties here, and well, let's go ahead and make sure that they know what the weight is. So I'm going to click on Weight here, and I'm going to say Pull the Mass. Then I'm going to add another one for my cost. I'm just going to type in the word Cost here. And because it is a global variable, it is available for me as a mass property. Now when I create a drawing that references weight and cost, it'll be there. Also, if I come in and I make some changes to my design, let's say if I make that 300 millimeters now, come back to my custom properties, you can see immediately that the, ma the mass and the cost have increased. So I hope you like that. If you have questions, feel free to contact us at support at CATI.com.